to start with insulin is the main line of treatment for type 1 diabetes mellitus patients and end stage type 2 diabetes mellitus patients and as you know there are three types of uh, insulins rapidly acting intermittent acting and long acting insulins rapidly acting insulins uh, which are the lispro aspart glulysin and the regular uh, the regular goes by the name actrapid uh, which is mostly used in india because it is cheap and it's more mainly used in the government and the private sectors in india uh, so we're going to discuss about regular insulin here so its onset is uh, uh, starts to act at half an hour and it has a peak of uh, four hours and it has a maximum duration of eight hours and then comes the intermediate acting insulin of which uh, the types are isophane insulin or the nph insulin and the lenti insulin and uh, as in rapid here nph is most commonly used in india both in government and private sectors it goes by the name of insultar and it's it, its onset is a it starts back with two hours and it's a peak of 12 hours and duration of 24 hours because it has a peak of 12 hours so it just needs to be given two times daily so the dose will be maintained throughout the day uh, so it's given us um, by its daily uh, yeah we use the rapid acting and the intermittent acting as a combination for most diabetic patients then the long acting insulin so just for the namesake uh, detrimer glargin ultra lenti and the protamine zinc insulin as i said uh, the uh, regular insulin and nph which is most commonly used in india so i'm just going to discuss about how to dose using these two drugs to treat the diabetic patients the insulin regimen has three components of which the basal which forms the skeleton of the insulin regimen and the preprandial which we give three times daily just before eating the food and the correction which depends on the capillary blood glucose that is a cbg level we take just uh, before giving the insulin the preprandial insulin and as i said basal forms a skeleton uh, for which we use the intermediate acting that is the nph which is as i said before give, given by daily and the preprandial which is the additional given just before food depending on the food intake and is given 30 to 40 minutes before food and uh, here we use the rapid acting that is the regular insulin uh, which is given in three doses as i said thrice daily just before eating the food and this correction factor depends on the capillary blood glucose level that we take before giving this preprandial dose which will be discussed later and coming to the dosage the total dosage we need to give for an insulin patient is 0.5 to 1 units per kg per day and let's take 1 units per kg per day so let's take it for an example uh, we, take, we see a 50 kg a female who is in end stage diabetes uh, type 2 mellitus and uh, she is on uh, insulin so the dose as the formula goes 50 units per day uh, now how do we split the basal and preprandial so the 50 percent of the total uh, insulin dose needed will go to basal and the remaining 50 percent will go to preprandial so the 50 percent so as i said 50 units 25 units for basal and 25 units for preprandial and as i said basal which is by steady therefore it's given morning and evening so 25 will be split in 12.5 and 12.5 and the preprandial 25 units as is the three times daily so it will become 888 8, 8. and now comes the correction factor factor goes by this formula that is 50 into the capillary blood glucose minus the normal or the required blood glucose by 1500 so for example uh, at lunch uh, we see a 50 kg uh, female uh, of type 2 diabetes mellitus on insulin and she has a cbg of 300 so according to this formula it will be 50 into 300 minus 150 by 1500 so which comes as 50 into 150 by 1500 which gives us a value of 5 units 5 units that is the correction factor will be added to the preprandial of that time for example if we take the we have calculated the correction factor for lunch so this 5 units will be added to the lunch time preprandial dose that is as calculated already which is 8 so this 8 by f plus 5 will give a value of 13 units so it will give a preprandial dose of 13 units for the patient and for example if there is a night uh, cbg of uh, 350 the same 5 units will be added with a night 8 units so that will be 13 units at night content taken from highly sense mm, thank you